Hello, everybody, and welcome out to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing video. Today, we're taking a look at Pletrix Roll and Write. I gathered that from the cover, but yeah, I joke, I joke. There's so many dice exploding at me on game covers. This is from a company that I'm not sure how to read their name. Truquillus? Truquillus, maybe? This is designed by uh, Javi Hansa? Javi Hansa? I'm not sure the uh, country of origin of this of this product, actually. Oh, uh, Spain. So Javi Hansa would be my guess. Uh, art by Lorena Gestido. As a roll and write, you'll always be part of the game, either as an active player or as a passive one. In order to get the highest possible score, you'll have to optimize your play to the maximum, drawing on the boards the figures obtained from the dice. Polyamino dice, polyamino spaces. Make a good roll, choose well your dice, use the cards at the right time, and especially don't take your eyes off of your rivals. Only thus, you will be able to achieve victory. There we go. Oh, those dice look way cooler than I was expecting. Oh my goodness. They got some translucency to them. Ooh. And they show the they show the boxes of the polyomino rather than just the, the shape, which it's a little thing, but stuff like that is nice to remember. Like, okay, this is four long, for example. That's really good to know. Uh, all of the, yeah, not even all the things are four, right? So that really matters. So, oh, I, I like the look of these. A lot. Then you got this die over here that has some like explosion stuff going on. Red and blue versions of that die. Multicolored. Whoa, that print is. Folks, that printing is not easy on a die. I can't imagine, right? That's printed into recesses there. To have a multicolor printing on a single die face like that probably is a lot of precision work because you you tend to just if you have a whole like blue face of a die you. You mold the black dye, you spray blue paint into the recesses, and then they go through a buffing machine that buffs all the paint off of the sides and only leaves the recessed paint. So that little detail there is, you can't just do that very simple manu uh, you know, uh, mass manufacturing process. Well, I'm already impressed, more than I was expecting to be. You got a bag here, I'm guessing for the dice maybe to randomize out of. Pencils, these are not just the normal pencils that <laughs> that tend to come with these games. These actually say Truquillus games on there. They have little erasers on the side. They're round, not the little hexagon ones. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued, to say the least. Uh, Spanish rulebook, English rulebook. During the last space trip, a famous game console was forgotten by a crew member on the Soyuz. It was found by some aliens that, trying to decipher the cartridge inside, released thousands of pieces which drift aimlessly and dangerously through space. I was not expecting to love the backstory of this game. I was like, it's, it's, it's polygamino. <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, now they ask humans for help to capture the pieces and clean, thus the space superhighways. Intending to keep the diplomacy across the galaxy. There's diplomacy now? The international earthling government has organized a selection system to find the best pieces collectors named Pletrix. Do you dare join it? Yes! Sign me up! Oops, bumped at the camera. All right, game summary. Uh, you have the different areas that you want to try to put them, I'm guessing, the matching dice on to. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got five panels. In the upper part, you have a few different special actions. Uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing you draft dice or something like that, right? So each panel is scored at the end of the game in a different way. So pink, you're going to score a certain way. Blue, green, orange, and yellow. That's cool. I'm a big fan of that, competing different uh, goals and stuff to work towards. Common cells, that's in the top part of your board. Bonuses, duplicate groups of dice and whatnot. So what does, a, what does a turn look like? Expansion, special interaction dice. That must be the black ones that have the different color faces and stuff on the. Yeah, yeah, those are the interaction dice right there, dice faces. Uh, game develop, game turn. Okay. A game turn will always consist of the following steps. The starting player will be chosen randomly, become the active player. The active player will roll all the dice. The active player will choose to place, uh, will choose to place in the panel two groups of dice of each color. The active player then will set aside a group of dice which will be removed from the game to the rest of the players. The passive player 
to their left may choose between the two remaining groups, the dice on the left uh, to the, of the table, to place in the panel, which they will set aside for themselves. The rest of the passive players will play with the remaining group of dice. So kind of a, a tiered drafting type of a thing. And if you're playing with more people, then the last few people will get whatever's last set aside. Okay, interesting. You'll notice that the, the language is not a perfect translation on here, right? I'm able to understand it enough, uh, I think, for the most part. There might be some BGG questions or whatever, just to kind of clarify. But yeah, solo mode over here. Well, very cool. This looks humorous. I like the fact that they injected some real humor into it. And I'm impressed by the production quality and everything. So yeah, there you go. That's Pletrix rolling right. Thanks for coming out to another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. My name is Chris Yee, and I hope that you have yourself a tetracular day.